Hey everyone, James here with Rococo and I'm back with another tutorial. This time I want to show you guys how to live stream face capture data directly to your characters in Unreal. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so as you see here, we do have the latest version of Rococo Studio available. If you don't have this yet, definitely download it. Um, check out the description. Uh, there's a link there. Um, this is the only version currently available that um, allows you to take advantage of facial capture. Um, so once you have that installed, uh, we can go ahead and now open our Rococo remote app on our phone and pair it to Studio. So let's go ahead and click on this button first in Studio. And then we'll go ahead and open the app on our phone. And then now when you see we're, when we're inside of the app on the phone, um, we have it listed here as an available device. So we can go and click connect. And on our app, it's gonna ask us if we wanna go ahead and connect to Studio. We'll click accept. And now we're inside the app. And we can go ahead and enable facial capture by clicking this button. And now you see my face in both the app and then also in Studio. So we're listed right here. Um, and then now what you want to do inside of Studio is pair this um, facial capture to our actor profile. And so we do that just by simply uh, clicking, dragging, and dropping. And so now we're paired. And now what we want to do is enable data forwarding within Studio. And it's as simple as just clicking this button right here to start live stream. And now it's on and you'll notice that by uh, the green highlight. And you also just want to make sure that your settings are set up properly. So if you go up to the settings up here and go down to data streaming. Just make sure that the forward IP is the same IP address for the computer that you're gonna forward this um, data to. And then also the forward port. Just make sure that this number is different from the smart suit listen port. Um, other than that, um, you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and jump over to Unreal and we're gonna in install our plugin and then um, forward this data to our custom character. All right, so here we are inside of the Epic Games launcher um, because what we need to do is make sure that the SmartSuit plugin is installed um, before continuing. And so um, what you want to navigate to is the marketplace. And then within the search, um, go ahead and type SmartSuit plugin. And then you'll see this plugin right here. Just click on it and then you're going to want to click install to engine. And then you're going to choose the version of the engine that um, you're currently working in and click install. Um, we already have it in installed on the version that we're going to be working on, um, so we're just going to go go ahead and jump over to Unreal now. Alright, so here we are in Unreal, and uh, the first thing that we want to do is just make sure that the um, we, we enable the SparkSuit plugin. And in order to do that, you want to go up to Edit, Plugins, and then you'll see SparkSuit Live here. Um, you'll want to check this to make sure that it is enabled. And when you do that, it's just going to ask you, um, you know, are you sure you want to install this? And then once you do uh, click on enabled, um, it's going to ask you to restart your um, Unreal project um, in order for it to install. So just go ahead and click enabled, restart your project, and then um, once you're in, it'll be installed. And, um, and so here we are in a fresh scene. We already have our character uh, imported. And so what we're going to do first is, um, actually before we uh, drag our, our character inside, we're just going to go ahead and, 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 and search for an essential um, uh, object that we're going to need in order to, to stream the data. And so over here under modes, we're going to search receiver, and we're going to grab this smart suit receiver, and we're going to just drag this into our scene, and you'll see it populate over here. And this is where we're going to import our VP um, data forwarding, um, or, or just our um, data forwarding port number. And so we're just going to change this because it ended in a three, change it to that. And that's all we're going to do with this. And so um, now what we want to do is um, bring our character into the scene. So we'll go to character, and we have Pearl. We're just going to drag our skeletal mesh right into scene. And uh, now what we want to do is uh, create a blueprint. Um, that will drive this um, this live data. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Blueprint, and we're just gonna go ahead and uh, click Character Folder, and we're gonna create the Blueprint inside the Character Folder. And so now here's our Blueprint, and um, there's a couple of different things that we wanna go ahead and, and do. So the first thing is over in, under Components, we're gonna add a component. We're gonna add our Live Link. 
and then from here we're gonna go down to functions and we're gonna add a new function and we're just gonna go ahead and name this uh, live link face node and then let's go ahead and click on it and um, over here on our right side in details under inputs we're gonna add three new uh, parameters and we're gonna rename these parameters um, to so the first one's gonna be subject name uh, second one will be curve name and then the last one will be blend shape name. And then we're going to change all of these to from boolean to string. And now we're going to um, create this blueprint. And so we're going to start by dragging out from the uh, execution pin on this node. And then we're going to go ahead and search um, git subject data and we're going to select this one and then we're going to go ahead and drag out from subject name here and then we're going to um, uh, attach it to this one and then you notice it creates uh, this little dot node and we're going to click this and we're actually going to uh, copy and then we're going to paste this twice uh, because we're going to need two extra of these um, and so we're going to take one and we're going to attach the curve name to it and we're going to take the other one and attach the blend shape name to it. And then now what we're going to do is go up to here the get subject data. We're going to drag out from subject frame handle and then we're going to search uh, get curves. We're going to click this and then we're going to drag out from curves and then we're going to search find and then we're gonna drag out from this green pin and we're gonna search float, um, float this one. We're gonna um, do the division. And then we're gonna change this number from one to 100. And then we're gonna drag out from this green pin and we're gonna search set morph target, which is this one right here. And then we're going to go ahead and drag out um, from the execution pin of get subject data and we're going to bring it right into here and set morph target. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, grab this um, end of this dot node and we're going to drag this up to um, this purple um, pin here on find. And then we're going to drag this one over to morph target name here. And then once that's done, we're going to go ahead and click the compile button and it looks like everything's good. So this is essentially what you want. Um, you can go ahead and make this a little bit more organized um, just so that you can see. And now next we're going to go ahead and jump over to the event graph. And inside of here, we're going to create some more nodes. Um, but we're essentially going to create nodes for all of our blend shapes for our um, for our character. And so the first thing that we want to do is drag out from the execution pin on event tick, and then we're going to go ahead and search the function that we created, the live link face node. And um, now what we want to do is change the subject name. We're going to name this AR kit. And then now what we want to do is just click on this and then copy it. And we're essentially, since we have 52 blend shapes on our character, we're going to create 52 of these nodes um, and then name each of these nodes according to that blend shape. So let's go ahead and um, add 52 nodes. All right, so now we have all of these uh, nodes created for each um, of the 52 blend shapes that we have. And you want them to somewhat line up uh, accordingly um, because we're gonna connect all of these together eventually. So now we can go back to our first one. And now what we wanna do is uh, we can actually, let's go back to um, our content browser and uh, let's open up our mesh, our skeletal mesh. So I'll double click this. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and drag our blueprint out here and make sure that that's set there and you'll see here under morph target preview of this tab these will list all of your blend shapes that you have so these are all of the names that we have for our blend shapes and we're essentially going to copy each one of these names and attach them to one of the nodes that we have um, created so we're going to go ahead and, and start here um, start with the first one and start with i look down left now, um, this process can be a little monotonous, um, however, we do plan to streamline this process in the future. Um, but for now, what you have to do is just right click here, click copy names, and then go to the node here, and we go ahead and, and paste it. Um, you will notice that it creates a space, so you just want to make sure you delete that space, otherwise um, um, it's not going to work properly. So you, once you paste it, delete the space, and then move on to the next node. So we can go ahead and connect it as well. And so now we'll go down to I look down right, copy the name, we'll paste it again, delete the space, and then we'll connect it to the next one. And so we're essentially going to do these for every single um, node that we have here and just um, copy all of the names and then attach them to this node. All right, now that we've gone ahead and finished adding all of the blend shape names to the curve name and the blend shape name of these nodes, um, you want to click compile and it looks like it's good. And um, this is essentially just what, what you want it to look like. Um, everything's all connected together. And we have all 52 blend shapes um, attached to these nodes. And now we can go ahead and close out of our blueprint. and go back to um, this part of Unreal. Um, and the last thing that we need to set up before we go ahead and um, test it is to set up our live link. So we go ahead and click Window, go to Live Link, and then you click on Add, and we have Rococo Virtual Production Source here, and we click on Studio. And then we're gonna go ahead and click OK. And so we're gonna go ahead and, and that's now enabled, and so now what we can do is uh, make sure that our phone app is open and if we hit play now you should see my face um, is now being streamed to our character in Unreal so this is essentially the process uh, it's fairly simple um, but a little bit monot monotonous when it comes to that blend shape portion but um, you know like I said we're, we're looking to streamline this process um, you know even further um, so thanks for watching guys I hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing all of the creations that you guys have with your with uh, utilizing face capture